Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burf, and it's Five Thrift Store Friday! Yes, it's Five Thrift Store Friday, the happiest day of the week. And oh my gosh, guys, I went to the Goodwill bins. I went to the Goodwill bins for the first time ever. And what's crazy is that the bins are located at a Goodwill that I've gone to, a new, a new Goodwill that I found that I've gone to maybe five or six times already. And I had no idea that the bins were just on the back side of the building. <laughs> so I go to the Goodwill bins today and I found some cool stuff, man. I got some vintage toys coming your way. I am super excited for today's episode. And I got a little music video for you. Can't wait to show you that too. We got all kinds of fun stuff planned today. So if you're ready, hit the like button. If you're excited, I'm excited. And if you're ready to roll out, then let's roll out. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. All right, gang, we are here. So this is a Goodwill that uh, I've been coming to a little more frequently but I didn't know that the Goodwill bins were at the exact same location. So that's like the storefront. And then back here on this side of the building is apparently the bins. So I just went in there and asked for directions and this is where they're sending me. So man, this is gonna be an experience. I can't wait. Oh, wow, so these are the bins. All right, well, oh, wow, it goes all the way back in there too. All right, well, we're gonna get to rummage in here in a minute. Dang. All right, look at all these people, man. All in these carts and shit. All right, let's see what we can find. Apparently these carts all belong to people. I was just over there rummaging through that cart and the guy said that was his. So he goes, that's my cart. <laughs> I'm like, all right, my bad. It's my first time here.
I was checking to see if there was any money in there. I'm sure the people at Goodwill already checked for that. I wonder how much money they actually find like in purses and stuff like that. Gates. Those things are beat looking. Well, everything here is kind of beat. Oh wow, look at this. Joshua Lopez's medication. <laughs> There's actually still pills in it. That's crazy. Naproxen. I think that's like a uh, naproxen. Yeah, I don't know what kind of medication that is. That's crazy though. Got some sparring gloves. Yeah, so apparently they bring new bins out. So they've changed out about, I don't know, maybe a dozen of them so far. And all these people over here are just kind of waiting to dig in. I don't know exactly when you dig in though. <laughs> I'm just kind of waiting to see what other people do. I'm gonna get this whole jar. I was looking these up on eBay and some sometimes these slides can be worth quite a bit of money. I've seen like where one sold for 30 bucks. This is kind of funny. This guy, my loves these pictures of his loves ended up at the Goodwill bin. Look at this, I think I just found Darth Maul's lightsaber. Well, I thought this thing was gonna be worth more than what it is. It's reselling for about 10 bucks, so I think I'm just gonna leave it here. Well, that was an experience. So I actually had fun there at the bins, you know, being my first time and everything. I wasn't sure really what to expect. But uh, I learned a few things along the way, which is cool. I ended up passing on the lightsaber. Uh, I did get the the little like photo negative thingies or whatever they were, the little slides, I guess. I did end up getting those. I got them home. I, I gotta tell you guys, that, that, that jar stunk. Like it smelled like mildewy and like when I open, ugh. Anyway, uh, I kind of went through all of those slides and there wasn't anything significant in them. So I ended up just trashing all of them. So uh, that was kind of a bust, but I did get a Star Wars 1983 Y-Wing. Now it is bare bones. It's missing just about everything, even one of the uh the landing gear uh pads or whatever are broken on it but you know for my first time at the goodwill bins i think that was a fun score and i'm gonna look to make a little project out of it and see if i can get it completed in the meantime let's do a little show and tell check this thing out it's pretty awesome now i didn't own this as a child in fact I'd never even seen this before. I don't ever remember seeing this Y-Wing on the shelves at the toy store for some reason, but I think it's pretty cool. And I don't even know who the driver of this is. I'm gonna have to look into that. Maybe you guys can leave a comment below and help me out and tell me, Burf, this is who drives it. And then tell me who drives it. But uh, I've got my Dagobah Luke in it and I think this thing is super cool and I'm really looking forward to making a little project out of it, like I said, and try to complete it. Now it does have like, you know, some buttons on it and whatnot. So I'm assuming it makes sounds and takes batteries and all that stuff, but I don't have any batteries in it in the moment. So I don't even know if it works. Here's the bottom side of it. Here's the landing gear. These two are intact. Um, I'm sorry, let me back up. This one is intact and this one, but this one is broken as you can see, but that's okay. You know, sometimes, sometimes ships get damaged in battle. So I think it's super cool guys. Let me know what your thoughts are below, you know, for this being my first official Goodwill bins score. Uh, I got to get a hatch. I'm assuming that's not broken. I hope that's not broken. I hope that's just where the hatch, you know, where the, the uh what is it the um the bolt the the lever or whatever the the hinge that's what i'm looking at the, the hinge i hope that's just where the hinge goes on the door so but anyway i am very excited about this very jazzed up 
And speaking of being jazzed up, what'd you think of that song? What did you think of that song with me doing a little jazz dance in the middle of the Goodwill bins? Actually, guys, I got in trouble um, after doing that. So uh, I, I was doing my little jazz dance and someone came up to me that was working there and said, uh, are you filming? And I said, uh, yeah. And he goes, you're not allowed to film in here. So even after he said that, I kind of snuck a little footage here and there and stuff like that. But uh, apparently you're not allowed to film at the Goodwill bins, at least not at this one. But what'd you think of that song? I'm going to try and incorporate a little song like that every Friday during Five Thrift Store Friday. So let me know in the comments below if you dug it. So, all right, guys, up next, another thrift store. All right, what do we got here? We got... A woolly mammoth. It's a little older. I don't know. Kind of dig it. And then we've got this big old airplane. Yeah, so this dude's actually from 1990. I'm going to grab him. I don't have one of these. What we got down here? We got a stormtrooper. Some sort of Star Wars trooper person thingy. Oh, look, it's Storm Shadow. Well, guys, Old Thrifty Pants didn't have a whole lot on the shelves for us, but I did manage to score this 1990 Woolly Mammoth. I have no mammoths like this in my collection. I've got like little tiny ones, but nothing significant like this. He's made out of a hard plastic, but his tusks are like a, uh, like a rubber. And you guys know how I feel about toys that are part rubber and part plastic like I can't get enough of them so this is really cool to be adding to my collection I'm going to put him on display for sure his uh t I'm glad I saved him because his tusks look like they got a little bit of dry rot going on uh right as uh, in the area where they kind of come out of his face and uh I feel like over time if he's rough housed with a little bit those tusks could just snap right off so i'm going to put him on a shelf here in the bunker and put him on display for the whole world to see so anyway i'm excited for this all right up next a, a, another goodie wheel let's head off to another goodie wheel and see what kind of goodies they got all right my friends we are here we're at the goodie wheel baby what you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? All right, well, I am having fun today. You guys having fun? If you are, hit the like button. And then let's check this place out. Well, we got some Xbox sports games, some Wii, some PS3, PS4, and we got some Funko Pops. Dang, look at the size of this Rick. This thing is huge, it's like a carnival plush. All right, let's see what we got on the shelves. Well, here's a super soaker. Wow. What year is that from, I wonder? Oh, 2010. It's not, a, it's not an old one. Oh, I think we got a championship belt here. Check that out. World Heavyweight Wrestling Champion. Got a Caterpillar. Construction vehicle. And I think that's about it. This car here looks like it would fit 375 figures. Holy cow, this thing's from 1987. I might have to pick that up. Oh, look at this. This is an animal, but it's not like the truck version. Oh, that is cool, man. Look at that, 1984. Yeah, buddy. It's missing the tires over here, but I think I got to get it anyway. Oh, man. Look, it's all smashed out in the back. I could deal with it not having tires, but I don't think I can deal with it being smashed out like that. Look at this, they went $8 for this thing too. It's missing the tires, it's busted out in the back. Even this tire here is coming apart. This thing's in bad shape. It's super cool, but man, eight bucks for that? That's ridiculous. I was gonna maybe get this, but it's missing this window over here. I'm just not, I'm not feeling it. <laughs> Man, oh, we were so close. That animal was so cool. I wish it was more intact because I would have loved to add, it, add that to my collection. You know, I, I, I don't ever remember seeing that version of the animal when I was a kid. I always saw the truck. You know, recently I picked up the claw, you know, so like I got the claw and these tires all like, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Yeah, see how they all... The tires come apart and they got the claws inside. 
So pick this up. Unfortunately, this still isn't running. I've been tinkering with it, trying to get the batteries to power it up, but it's not working at the moment. But uh, but yeah, man, so close to having a super, super cool score. All right, let's go hit up another thrift store, try our luck somewhere else and see if we can get some vintage toys up on the scoreboard. Well, 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 let's see what Big Texas Thrift has on the shelves today. That diecast plane is cool, but it's missing a wing in the back. Oh, another toy hunter. Ugh. Check out that gun. It's colorful. Hey, it's deflate gate. Remember when the Patriots cheated? Oh, unfortunately, these shells really don't have anything. At least not from what I'm seeing. Well, here's a TIE Fighter. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Has that got a Darth Vader inside of it? It's not Vader. It's like, a, I don't know, Moff Gideon or something. So this is actually a Mission Fleet TIE Fighter. It's from 2020. Probably going to leave it here, but it is a neat piece. Man, I really dig this little vehicle, and I think it would go well with my 1986 Guts figures. Well, that other toy hunter went through these bags, but let's see if he missed anything. What the heck is this thing? <laughs> it looks like something suggestive. Well, unfortunately, well, there's a Tila. That's a newer one, though. It might be like an Origins, maybe? Maybe? I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments below. Which Tila, what line is she from? She's like the only one in there, but the only thing in there worth getting, but for three bucks, I might grab her. Hey, check out like these little cake topper baseball players. These are kind of fun. Got a soldier in there. Yeah, this guy is actually missing a head. He's decapitated. I'll probably just leave these behind, but those are kind of fun. I like cake topper toys. I don't know exactly what this is, but it's made by Jack's Pacific. It's from 2014. It's like binoculars, but maybe some sort of like, um, maybe it picks up sound and you can like, oh yeah. Or maybe it's like a, that's like an earpiece. Oh, I see. You can probably pick up sounds from like far away or whatever, like people whispering and whatnot. Hey, it's an Avengers Hulk. I had this dude at one point back when I was buying all kinds of junk. Well, here's a super soaker that belonged to Chumley. Unfortunately, it's not like an 80s or 90s super soaker, but it is like the early 2000s, I think. Yeah, it kind of looks like 2001. Yeah, I just looked this thing up in the box. It sold for eight bucks and they want $3 for this loose one. Look at this crazy looking hand puppet. All right, I got a few VHS I'm gonna pick up. I'm gonna pick up Bruce Lee, The Chinese Connection and also a biography, The Man, The Myth. I'm gonna get this Nostradamus, The Life Prophecies and Mystic. And uh, yeah, The Life Prophecies and Mystic of Nostradamus. So I'm gonna pick this up. And then there's this thing here. I've never seen this before, it's called. It's got Jeff Wincott and Maria Ford. I have no idea who they are, but it's called Future Fear. So I'm gonna grab that too. It looks interesting. Oh man, Waterworld, that's cool. Yeah, I gotta get that too. Blues Brothers 2000. Sometimes I look for these types of tapes that are like homemade, hoping maybe I'll find one with like Saturday morning cartoons on it from the 80s or something. I don't think I have this one either. Better off dead. Oh, look at this. Super Bowl, 1994. This has got the 1991 Academy Awards on it. This one's got the Olympics from 1988. Look at this, 2020. Interview with Boris Yeltsin, 1991. Here's another one with the Super Bowl. And here's another one with the Super Bowl. Tribute to Hank, Dolly Parton. Must be Hank Williams. Here's one with Ronald Reagan, stand up Reagan. The wit, warmth, and humor of one of America's. I think I'm gonna get that, that's actually kind of cool. Oh dang, this one says sex tape, so. <laughs> 
crazy. Again, not a whole lot on the shells, although the TIE fighter was cool. It was like a mission fleet TIE fighter, I think. But like, you know, I don't really collect that. Um, so I left that there. I did get this Jeep and I got it because I thought it would look good next to my Guts figures. Now, I haven't got it on the shelf yet, but let me show you what I'm talking about. So I am a huge fan of Guts little army figures. These things are so cool. I remember summer 1986 playing with these figures outside in the yard across the creek in the in the woods at my grandmother's house at my friend's house like i mean i took these guys everywhere i went and just me and my brother both when we played with these things hardcore summer of 86. general sir no we need more gi's we need more than ordinary gi's we need we need guts, ground troops, armed for the teeth, and tough as nails. We need guts, Aikido forces, dark warriors of martial arts. And we need guts, jungle fighters, a rugged and reckless band of misfits. How do I get them, sir? Guts can be bought in packs. Do we need more GI, sir? What we need is more guts. Yes, sir! And... Man, I just, I love this entire line and I've got a ton of these. I even have more on card on the wall um, here in the bunker. But I thought the little Jeep, so I picked up this Jeep here. You can see uh, it's kind of like a Humvee type of thing. Uh, I picked it up on eBay, oh, maybe two months ago. And the little vehicle I just picked up at the thrift store kind of reminded me of that and I thought, yeah, I'll have to do a little rearranging on the shelf and uh, and then, you know, put the, uh, the vehicle there and then put all the guts around them and make a nice little display with it. But I thought it would go perfect with them. So like I said, I did get the Jeep. I also picked up Tila, the Tila, the Origins Tila that was in the bag. And I got her on display already here in the bunker. So let's do a little show and tell. So I put her on the shelf over here with some of my other origin figures if you guys remember not too long ago i found this prince adam and the uh the sky sled at another thrift giant i think i got them for like 12 dollars or something like that so i got this little shelf over here i got a bunch more origins but i just have a few on display but one of the things i wanted to show you other than the tila and she's actually pretty awesome and she looks actually very very accurate to the original vintage Tila. It's now over here, I'll direct your attention to this castle, this Castle Grayskull. You might be thinking, Burf, I've never seen a Castle Grayskull like that. That's because I made it. So I made this castle. I actually found a gray castle and I had a bunch of these like little uh, dollar store, little Dollar Tree figures. If you guys remember those that came out of the Dollar Tree a few years back, I picked those up, but they didn't have a castle. And as you guys know, I like to make sure that my figures have a home that they can live in. So I found this castle. It was just a plain gray brick castle and uh, found it in a thrift store and thought, you know what? I'm going to try and make that into a castle gray skull. So I went to Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. And I bought a bunch of these little stones and I individually glued every single stone on the castle. So every stone that you see there, and there's actually stones on the back side of it. And then I got a little peat moss and stuff like that. And then I painted it green and did a little shading with it. And then the eyes didn't really turn out the way I was kind of hoping they would, but, uh, but those are the eyes, but yeah. So this is a, a little shelf I have dedicated to He-Man. I've got a few shelves in my collection dedicated to He-Man because when I was growing up, Motu was my thing. So it was Motu and G.I. Joe. Those were like the two really big lines that I played with as a kid. So, but I'm really happy to add this Tila to my collection. I didn't have an Origins Tila. All right, guys, we got one more thrift store for the day. So let's finish strong. All right, my friends, we are hitting up another Goody Will. What you got for me today, Goody Will? What you got for me today? All right, well, let's hope we can pull some more goodies out of here. Oh, we got carts full of plush. Oh, looky, looky. We got a stumpy Spider-Man with a squinty eye. A 
Let's see if they put anything new on these shelves. I feel like it's been a while since we found anything significant at this particular goody wheel. Uh, I don't think we're gonna find anything. Look at this crazy looking bear. Like a mad scientist. Check out these banks. We got the Detroit Lions 21 inch bottle bank. And then we've got the Bungles. We got the Brown Turds. And then we got the Broncos. Can you tell which teams I don't like? <laughs> All right, we didn't finish strong, but we had a strong day. We had a good, we had a good day. So we got some vintage 1983 Star Wars. We got some toys from the 1990s. We even got some toys that are reminiscent of toys from the 1980s. So, and then of course, you know, the Tila and whatnot. So like I had a fun day. I hope you had fun too. If you did, do me a favor and smash the like button. Also, if you want to watch more videos just like this, then check out this next video.